Hello everyone, I'm back with another chess trap video and this time I'm going to discuss an oldest chess opening called the Ponziani opening which has been discussed in literature since 1497. It was popularized by Howard Staunton who was considered as the world's strongest player from 1843 to 1851. Later Anderson became the strongest player after the London Crusades and later Anderson and the rest of the world were defeated by the great Paul Murphy. So uh, this opening is named after Domenico Ponziani of Italy. He lived from 1716 to 1796. He was a multi-talented person. He was a chess thinker, chess uh, composer, chess writer. And he was also a law professor and also a trained priest as well. Uh, and uh, he has made numerous contributions to chess, uh, chess literature, especially in the endings and also in the openings, right? like Ponziani opening, which is named after him, and also the Ponziani counter gambit, which is uh, uh, a gambit to counter his own opening, which is the Ponziani opening. So this uh, opening is very interesting, and I'm sure you're going to like this. My name is Sumit. I'm a digital chess coach. and Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon. And I'm sure you're going to like this video and do watch it until the end. It's a very simple trap which you can use in your online Blitz games and online bullet games and you'll get very quick victories. So without further ado, let us, let us check out this amazing chess trap. So uh, let's look at this trap. This is a very um, interesting trap. And as I said, you can use this in your online chess games and you can score Quick victories, uh, very quick victories actually. You can, uh, so let's let's see this trap. First, white plays e4, um, e5 by black, knight f3, knight c6, all very common moves. Now the most popular move is bishop to b5, uh, or uh, bishop to c4, or white can play d4, or knight c3. Uh, all leads to uh, positions which are well known. Uh, the Ponziani is a very rare opening these days. So uh, it starts with c3. This is the idea. The idea behind the opening is to, to get a very strong center by pushing b4. So black tries to counter it by playing knight f6, attacking this pawn, uh, the e4 pawn. Um, white uh, go ahead, goes ahead with his plan of uh, playing d4 and uh, black takes this knight, knight takes e4. Now black is up material but uh, white can win back the material by pushing this pawn, uh, pushing the d pawn to d5. Now the knight is attacked uh, so knight has to move uh, and the best square to move is to e7. Uh, he can move the knight to a5 or b8, but uh, knight b8 is passive and knight a5, knight will get trapped. So knight e7, and now white recaptures the pawn. Here is the trick, uh, actually. Um, so most of the black players, if they are not careful, would play d6. And it is a, it is a blunder, it is a big mistake. Uh, the correct move is knight g6 played by many strong players uh, until recently some some i have seen some games where nakamura used this system um but uh, if black is not careful and he won't be careful especially in the blitz games or the other games he would try to kick off kick away this knight by playing d6 now the d6 attacks the knight but uh black thinks that you know knight will move back and then he'll get a normal game but uh, why does it trick up his sleep? Uh, and I'll give you a couple of seconds to figure out if you can find this trick or not. So starting now, I'll give you a couple of seconds to find this trick. All right, so if you have found this trick, you are a good player and the move is bishop to b5. Now uh, the bishop gives check to the king and the uh, king has no square to move. Uh, all the adjacent squares are occupied by his own pieces. So only option is to play bishop d7 or c6. After bishop d7, 
Uh, bishop takes d7 check is, uh, and black has to give give up his queen uh, to avoid my, let, let us look at uh, this variation very quickly. Bishop takes d7 check. Um, black has to give his queen to avoid check. So that is not an option. So c6 is the next move. And after d takes c6, b takes c6, knight takes c6. Now uh, the queen is under attack and there is a threat of dis discovered check to the king as well. So the knight has to be taken. Knight takes c6, bishop takes c6 check, and this is a fork. Uh, the, uh, the rook is fork at the same time the knight is also attacked. After uh, something like bishop d7, bishop takes e4, and then and uh, white uh, wins a piece, and uh, he has got uh, uh, he is still attacking the rook, and the rook has to move. So this it is an overwhelming position for white, and is a winning position completely crushing uh, black pieces. So this is a trap. Do try it. Uh, so this is a trap. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have liked this video, please subscribe my channel i need your support and please also share this video with your friends also click on the bell icon so that you get notified of my future videos i'll be doing many such videos of chess traps i'll be uh, doing videos about um, chess endings chess openings just many game ideas please do subscribe to my channel and support me. hope you like this video until next time bye, -bye. see you